Okay, let's remove a background. Hello, I'm Michael Thrive Sanctuary, and today we're going to take a look at how to use Adobe Express to remove the background from photos for your thumbnails and blog posts. Now, Adobe Express does a great job at removing the background, as I'm going to demonstrate, and I've taken my picture in front of some of the most messiest places in my house. Mostly that's the living room because I have everybody's gaming system and the 3D printer and all my exercise equipment in the back because everybody uses my house as a catch-all. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Adobe Express. Now I've already taken a picture and I've already downloaded it from my phone to um, Google Photos and then downloaded it from Photos to my desktop. So all I gotta do is just browse on my device, but you can drag and drop an image if you choose. I'm just gonna click on browse uh, the device. And as it's removing the background, that's my room, by the way. Boom, everything's gone. <laughs> so from here, we can just download this as the PNG. And with the PNG, you can use it in pretty much any other graphic program out there, like Canva. I'm gonna make a few adjustments before I download it to put it into my template that I have on Photoshop. So we're gonna go back to um, Adobe Express and we're going to customize. Now this will take a second for Adobe Express to load the image into its editor. And from here we're going to resize it. Because I need it to be a little bit bigger than that. I could probably go with there. And we're going to move me over here to the... You know what? I'm going to go on the right this time. Fortunately, it's right about there. Okay, hey. Cool. I didn't have to do an unfortunately after all. So there's me standing, no background. It's great. So I'm gonna pick a new background here. We're gonna do, um, I don't know. Let's look for something cool. Um, okay, let's do the concrete here. And now we can see there's that. Okay, so now I move myself over to the right. Uh, this is for a thumbnail, so I know I'm gonna have stuff on the left here of my um, template that I have in Photoshop. So I'm going to save it as is, because I have something in my hands that I'm going to put that is already ready to go in Photoshop. So I'm gonna click on download. I'm gonna download the PNG. And then I'm gonna be bop on over to Photoshop. At this point, you really don't need to go to Photoshop. The only reason why I am is because I have some elements there that I want to add to the thumbnail. And I also have a, a template for my blog as well. So I just drag and drop into Photoshop, um, change the text and upload and we're good to go. Okay, now that I got my template open for my thumbnail, I'm going to drag and drop the PNG I downloaded from Adobe into the image. And I'm going to turn off the view of YouTube Shorts template because I don't need it. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of a white line from the uh, removing of the background. And you can go in and remove that. Uh, it's kind of a pain. But I am going to do... Um, I'm just going to leave it because why not? The next element I want to drag and drop is the logo that I'm going to use. Boom. And then I want to shrink that down and put it here where I'm holding it because that's what I want to do. Now, you see that's kind of dark on my shirt. Can't really see it all that well. So we're going to do some effects here. We're going to take the layer style and we are going to give it an outer glow. Mwah. And we can make it uh, increase the spread or the size. Hallelujah. And we don't need that big. We'll go right about right about 10 10 pixels that's good and maybe change the spread just a hair all right yeah 20 percent looks good i like that boom and then because i want it to be more in my palm i'm going to, oops i didn't mean to do that i need to select that we're going to rotate it just a smidgen bring it down and Boosh. <laughs> and now I'm going to add the left side of the um, thumbnail, just like that. And I'm going to change that text, but we're going to disable 
this text because I don't need it. I'm going to change this to Um, that looks like it might be longer. Let's go with, uh... Ooh, maybe if I spelled shit right. Removing the background. Um, I want it to be a little bit bigger, so we'll do this. Let's see what this looks like. Um, let's select it and bring it up. Ooh, not that big. Uh, right about there. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> As you can see, Adobe Express does a pretty decent job. I do have that white outline that's on the left, and I'll probably go through it and uh, remove that manually. Um, I might just go back to Adobe and just download the picture of just that PNG that we saw at the very beginning and make a few adjustments from there. Um, aside from that, if you get a good, decent um, green screen background or something else, uh, it'll work way better. But... I have stood in front of some um, messy, messy sections of my house, <laughs> and Adobe Express has done really well at getting rid of it. So, in fact, if you look at my most recent about five or six thumbnails on the website or on the YouTube channel, and I think the last three or four blog posts um, have been using the PNG from Adobe Express. So, there's some uh, just something you can something different you can do to your website or your YouTube channel to make your um, content stand out. I'm having a long day. <laughs> Anywho, what's your favorite graphic design program for your blog? Personally, I use a, it's a mixture between Photoshop and Canva. I pay for Photoshop and Adobe Premiere, um, Premiere for my YouTube channel, and then pr I use Photoshop for my clients. Um, a lot of stuff that we have have PSD files, and it just makes everything so much easier. So I get the uh, the premium account of Adobe Express, so I get all kinds of backgrounds and stuff that I can add, and it's, yeah, you can create a free account with Adobe Express and it doesn't really cost much. You just don't get access to a lot of those premium layouts and backgrounds and whatnot. But yeah, I bounce around all over the place depending on what I'm doing. Like, uh, well, I just showed you how to do the thumbnails in Photoshop, but I, I have a template in Canva for the live stream because they're separate. And uh, because I'm convoluted like that instead of just having one platform, <laughs> I could probably just move all the stuff from um, Photoshop into Canva or vice versa. But I'm lazy. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about blogging, freelance writing, or self-publishing. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll get back to work. I'll see you next time.